your discretion. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra, and this is a review of my new jacket. This is the Icon Contra jacket. It's in the mil-spec colorway, military spec. The Icon Contra jacket has been around for about four years now, and if you know anything about Icon jackets, that's a long time for a product of theirs to still be available. Um, Icon typically has one of the more uh, aggressive themes to their part to their um, products. Uh, aggressive looks, kind of that hooliganism mentality that they're kind of promoting. I mean, they have the, the hooligan is like my hooligan spastic jersey, so they use the hooligan brand name. So. Um, this one right here, like I said, I've really liked it for a long period of time. I almost bought a white one recently, um, but they just the white gets just too dirty too fast. And I come across this. This is the the mil spec, and this uh, meets all military regulations for on base high vis wear. This would be an alternative to wearing like a high visibility vest. Um, it's made of a couple of different materials. It's a textile mesh chassis. It is mesh. Fighter mesh right down here, fighter mesh here. It's got some fighter mesh on the uh, upper chest area. It's got some flex panels and some uh, TPRs on the uh, shoulders. Flex panel here as well. Um, it's got ballistic nylon in the high impact areas. It's very similar in its in its construction to my uh, hooligan spastic, except that has a tremendous amount more um, fighter mesh. Now, where this one kind of gives you a little more, um, I guess, temperature tolerance or temperature adjustability is that it comes with a full sleeve zip-in thermal liner. So you could really extend your riding season with this, whereas my Hooligan doesn't have anything. Um, obviously, I have it out now because right now it's about 85 degrees out. And uh, this should really work really well. What I love about it is, obviously, it's very, very high vis. It also has a lot of reflectivity in it. The icon logo, a lot of reflective accents, a lot of the silver is all reflective. I'll put a picture here that I took during the day, and the same picture with the flash on, and you can see how incredibly reflective it is. I bought this jacket primarily for commuting, just to be seen, and I was looking into, like, honestly, I was looking at those high vis vests, and then I came across this one, and I love the look of it. And it is a super comfortable jacket. Um, as far as adjustability goes, there's some ratcheting style adjustments on the waist here. Um, there's a little bit of a, there's a clasp here and a zipper pull. But not a tremendous amount of adjustability compared to other jackets. Having said that, I don't even think it really needs it. Because it is super comfortable. It has two front pockets here. And one, oh, it's got this little clasp down here. This is good for saving uh, scratching your tank with a uh, zipper. It's got a Napoleon pocket right in here. Like I said, this jacket's been around for a really long time, comparatively, and it still looks current and it's still in uh, Icon's current offering, which means a lot. My one nitpick with this jacket is pretty much the same nitpick I have with a ton of other jackets, and that is protection. While it has CE rated armor in the uh, elbows and the shoulders, and they're really very comfortable, the back protector that came with this is a dual density foam. It's really not going to do a whole heck of a lot. I took the um, Dainese Wave G2 back protector and I slipped it in here. It's a, almost a perfect fit for it. So now I feel like I have good protection. Uh, took it out of my Dainese Xantum D-Dry, which is my winter jacket. So this will be great because this is going to be like probably uh, early spring through late fall because of that windproof liner. Um, that, But when it comes to uh, Icon, they put uh, D3O armor in pretty much everything. Um, nowadays, my Icon Hooligan Spastic has full complement of armor in it. This one, when it came out, came with that dual density foam. And I wish that because it's a current jacket, I wish they would kind of upgrade all the armor to uh, D3O, but who knows? That's my one nitpick. I really like the jacket. The re reflectivity is great. The airflow seems to be pretty good. I mean, it's really hot today. I'd probably be okay riding in it. Of course, my Icon Hooligan sp uh, Spastic Street Jersey is going to flow even more than this, but it should be more comfortable than my in the heat than my uh, GP Plus R Leather Alpine Stars. So there you have it. 
You get the safety of high vis, and I think it looks pretty damn good. I'll be honest with you, it's it's not kind of goofy looking. It's very stylish. It's an aggressive look. It's Icon's sport fit, not their attack fit, so it's kind of relaxed. And uh, it's a little bit more money than the standard Contra, but if you're looking for the high vis especially if this is an on-base option for you military people, this might be the way to go. All right, so if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much. Ride safe. See ya. But I digress. And you ever get a feeling that a car's gonna move in on you? Uh, of course you the do. resistance you really is about. So I'm watching, and I'm kind of and, uh, in the decal. I'm coming out of her blind the, spot, the, the let's shirts. say. And I'm coming up alongside of her, and all of a sudden she just Change. goes right into the.